China Solutions Workshop, and we talk about restringing antique Blutner. As you see uh, the piano in the front of ours, Blutner was one of the best in the world, and it's now one of the best. They always keep a good quality. That's a unique design of the piano. Of course, quality is really uh, unusual. All the spruce and uh, whatever you just like name, uh, hardware, everything is on the uh, top level on the Blutners. Anyway, uh, Blutner got a special design for uh, tenor and treble section. As you see, it's a single loop uh, strings. It means uh, it's a 62 unisons by three. It's going to be 186 single loops you have to make. And uh, uh, that's take a little uh, while. You need a, maybe a certain tool or you can do it on the drill bit and just like uh, use devices and you can make them too. But uh, in our case, we show you uh, that's um, You've seen it already. It's a, a stringing uh, station that uh, gets some uh, unique features like this uh, area. You can make a single loop and this is a distribution of a wire like this. It's on a uh, carousel like this. It's a rotating. Just don't forget that you have to use only five pounds coils. You cannot use uh, the small ones, one pound, because the wire is damaged already. And to use them on uh, pianos at this level is, of course, uh, it's not a proper way to do. Anyway, when you are gonna pound this uh, pins in the pin block, it's gonna be a lot of stress. That's why you can use only heavy duty uh, jack. This jack, uh, you see, is created from a very heavy, um, brass piece and uh, with a screw that really just absorb uh, the energy. If you want to just like continue uh, for absorbing it and make it really just like uh, decrease the stress, you use another jack that you support this keyboard. That's basically uh, everything is, uh, you know uh, what to do. Just only the small unit here uh, just you can uh, attach it to the side of the piano because uh, you can put the strings here. Uh, of course, you can make the single loop string and install it. Uh, then make it and install it. In this case, you don't need this uh, thing. But if you want to make like uh, 16 of them at the time and put them, then it's easy for you. You can save a little time. But anyway, well, since we already uh, set up the strings, right? Uh, we have to find out how much we have to pre-cut the strings. In order to do this, I just measure the distance here. Like uh, for my next uh, set of the strings, I just put it on the fish pin and I measure it already considering with uh, extra for the coils, like 56 uh, inches. And uh, I get extra maybe like uh, eight, nine inches, because uh, you have to make actually the single loop. And uh, the way I do it, I need a little bit extra wire, like let's say 62 inches. And since I make six of them, they all gonna be approximately 62 inches. Uh, as you see, I just use uh, extra table here uh, that uh, now we just show you. It's a very simple, it's just, of course, a table that I use for different purposes. I put a tape here and I measure uh, these inches here. Actually, all this distance of my uh, table is 63 inches exactly. Uh, you, can, you can see it, you, uh, you can use it here just to be sure that you are right, as you see. Yeah, it's 63, and I, I put it uh, with a marker. Here, 63 inches. That's how I'm going to pre-cut the strings, right, for these purposes. Let's, let's do it. You need just basically the colors, and once I pull the wire, once I pull the wire, I just put it here and, and get it like this, right? It's 63. Yeah, you can use whatever you tool you got. I, I can use this cutter or, or shears like this. And you, you just cut 
six of them, right? But let's say I pull the wire again and and cut it. Yeah, I can do it all the six uh, times and we're okay with this, right? But once I um, made six of them, I'm going to proceed with a single loop. Uh, you see, on the, and this tool is just, just like, uh, make it kind of easy. You see, first of all, I make this first, first loop like this. They are, then I install it and actually already actually thing just put it here and I just rotate it like this three times one two three and we we got a single single loop like this then I cut it and it's ready to I just want to make it slightly change the whole direction like this and uh, that's where we can use it. So of course, uh, all the rest is the common procedure for everybody. We just put it through the hole in Agra and attach our string to the fish pin, put it on a bridge, and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, then we we cut it in a, in the dimensions, or you can uh, make it visually if you do it like for a long time. You know already how much, or you make just samples on your palm, and uh, you cut the extra. And using using uh, whatever, just coil maker, or like that. Uh, but I probably want to get to this point that we just remember, we put it inside the hole and that's basically what we do with our procedure that it's a, it's a common thing uh, that you do and uh, of course you can just keep going like this like from uh, the tenor section to the high treble or if it's good for you you can go it from right uh, side to the left but uh, what you have to be prepared just for um, routine work and try to eliminate it as uh, just much as possible by using like proper jacks that is comfortable for you, uh, a proper tool for making single coils and make a nice space for you. And that's uh, gonna help you a lot. You enjoy uh, this work and definitely uh, the piano gonna be great after that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.